Welcome back friends. The other day I posted this design in our group and there was a lot of interest on how I created this in and out effect with the word bite and the handcuffs and this effect down here uh, in um, the bottom right corner that looks like a bite out of crime. Uh, so that two-toned blue and black and I'm going to show you how I created that so stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to show you how I created this in and out effect with the handcuffs. So I'm going to start off by creating a new page and I'm going to go to my elements section here on the left and I'm going to search for ice letters. Okay, and here we go. So here are the ice letters and uh, just to note that uh, when you place one of these letters on your workspace. You can always go to the info tab here and you can um, select to view the collection and that will bring up all of the items in this particular collection. So I'm going to say view collection because I only want to see the letters in the shape of ice from this specific designer. So here is my E here. I'm going to search for the B. Here is the B. And now I'm going to search for the I. Here is the I. And now all I need is the T. So here is the T. I'm just going to bring them a little bit closer together and I just want to make sure that they are lined up and you know that they're lined up when you get that purple line all the way across. See that? Okay. All right. So I have my bite word here and now I'm going to search for some handcuffs. So I am going to, in my search bar, search for handcuffs. And I'll see if I can find the ones uh, that I used. Okay, and I'm going to use these ones here. These are similar to the ones that I used. And so I am going to place um, my handcuff uh, there, uh, just as, as an example. And um, so you'll notice that it's just on top of the E. So with an in and out effect, what you're trying to do is you're trying to weave an object in and out of another object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this letter and I'm going to make a copy of that letter. And I'm going to place it, uh, I'm going to try and place it uh, right on top. So now we see that the handcuff is kind of squ uh, squished in between the two E's. Now, um, you can leave it like that if you like, um, or you can move the handcuff down and, uh, or over and then make it appear uh, like it is coming out on this side. So what you would do is you would take the element on top. So I'm taking my E and I am cropping it so that I can see the handcuff um, coming over and on top. Okay, so that's how I created that in and out effect. So I have two E's there. Um, it looks like I've only got one E, uh, but I've cropped one of the E's, that there it is right there, so that it looks like that E is just coming slightly over the handcuff. Now I can try this again with the B. So let me take the handcuff and I'm just going to put it over here. Maybe I'm just going to flip it like this. And maybe I'll make it a little bit um, larger. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of the B. Again, I'm going to put it right on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the B on top and I'm going to crop it so that it looks like the handcuff is coming out from the hole of the B, if that makes sense. So um, there it is there. Now, of course, you can also crop it on um, this side, just going up like that to give it a different type of effect, or you can leave it the way um, it was, like so. Okay, so this is a how to create an in and out effect with objects. I truly hope that you enjoy this video and that you learn something from it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and press that like button if you did. Also, you're welcome to join my Facebook community or my Discord community where you can get help on any of your designs. For now, I will say bye-bye until next time.